What's up people of the internet, I'm the big bolt here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Bayer family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 792 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture, or using the latest drivers for it available. We also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500 GB hard drive for the operating system and also in which the game is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. Oh, look, another Fortnite like game for your crappy PC. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Blood Strike. One very important thing to note, the game has a strange input latency issue with the mouse. You can fix it with the River Tuner Statistics Server program, which comes with MSI Afterburner, but you can also download it standalone, download link in the description by the way. After opening it, click on the arrow button on your taskbar and click on the blue monitor icon. Here's how the app looks like. Now, Click on the big green add button, then navigate your game directory. In it, go to engine, binaries, win64. Double click the bloodstrike.exe file and you should notice its name appear on the left. Make sure it's chosen and on the right there's a frame rate limit thingy. In the Intel Celeron N2840's case, I had set it to 30, or in other words, we're locking the FPS to 30, which is a bit of a shame, cause we would have liked to play with uncapped FPS, but since that fixes the mouse input latency, it is what it is. Oh, and did I mention you should run the River Tuna Statistics Server program every time before watching the game? Also, because the game tends to use more and more RAM over time, we're gonna be running the memory dot up before watching the game, and I've set it to clean the RAM, once usage reaches 90%, just in case. And let's finally get straight to the points now.
Now, Blurge Strike also doesn't really have a resolution option, so the only way it's lowered the resolution in full screen is lower the desktop one. Even though the game runs flawlessly even at my monitor's native one, you know what? Let's lower the resolution to 800 by 600 Maybe we could get that 1% load 30 as well. To do so, press your Windows button, then tap out of the game. Next, right click on your desktop and go to display settings. From there, you can lower the desktop resolution to 800 by 600 And there you go, fellas.